Imagine looking in the mirror and realizing you're not entirely human. What if I told you that, inside your body right now, lives the DNA of another species? For decades, scientists believed they had mapped all of our Neanderthal heritage. But a stunning new discovery has just rewritten history. Researchers have uncovered fragments of Neanderthal DNA never seen before, hidden deep within modern humans. These genetic traces survived for tens of thousands of years, shaping who we are today and what they reveal about us and our mysterious ancestors, will completely change how we see ourselves. Neanderthals were not just primitive cavemen hiding in caves. They were a powerful human species that thrived across Europe and parts of Asia for nearly 400,000 years. They built tools, controlled fire, hunted massive animals, and even buried their dead with care. For most of history, they lived side by side with the changing landscapes of Ice Age Europe, adapting to some of the harshest climates on Earth. But about 40,000 years ago, something extraordinary happened. Neanderthals vanished. For a long time, scientists believed they were simply replaced by our own species, Homo sapiens, who migrated out of Africa and spread across the world. It seemed like a clean break, one human story ending as another began. But modern genetics tells a very different tale. The truth is, Neanderthals never fully disappeared. Instead, they mixed with us, leaving fragments of their DNA behind in our bloodlines. Today, every non-African person carries between 1 and 4% of Neanderthal DNA. These tiny genetic footprints are still influencing our bodies, our health, and even parts of our behavior. And now, scientists have discovered even more Neanderthal DNA hiding inside us, DNA we never knew existed until now. For years, scientists thought they had already identified the full extent of our Neanderthal inheritance. After sequencing the first Neanderthal genome in 2010, researchers believed they had pieced together most of the DNA fragments still surviving in us today. But recent breakthroughs in genetic technology are proving that the story is far from complete. A team of geneticists has now sequenced additional Neanderthal genomes from previously unknown individuals, taken from fossil remains in Siberia and Europe. By comparing these genomes to modern human DNA, they discovered something incredible. Entire fragments of Neanderthal DNA that had gone unnoticed before. These are not just repeats of the sequences we already knew about. They are fresh pieces of genetic material, hidden deep inside the blueprint of living people. What makes this even more fascinating is how widespread these fragments are. Scientists found that in populations across Europe and Asia, modern humans still carry between 1 and 4% Neanderthal DNA. That might sound small, but in genetic terms, it's enormous. Millions of base pairs directly inherited from a species that disappeared 40,000 years ago. Visualize it this way. Imagine two overlapping maps. On one side, the genetic code of a Neanderthal. On the other, our own DNA. Where the colors merge, you can see the last ing imprint of an ancient encounter between two human worlds. These new fragments show that interbreeding wasn't rare. It was common enough to leave a permanent signature inside billions of people alive today. And this discovery raises an even bigger mystery. If we are still uncovering brand new Neanderthal DNA now, what else is waiting to be found in our genetic past? So how exactly did Neanderthal DNA end up inside us? The answer begins around 60,000 years ago, when groups of Homo sapiens migrated out of Africa and spread into Europe and Asia. There, they encountered the Neanderthals, who had already been living in these regions for hundreds of thousands of years. At first, scientists thought these meetings were violent and short-lived. But the genetic evidence paints a very different picture. Instead of only competing, humans and Neanderthals formed connections. They lived side by side, and sometimes they had children together. Those hybrid children carried a unique blend of DNA, part Homo sapiens, part Neanderthal. And, because they survived and reproduced, their Neanderthal genes were passed on from generation to generation. Over tens of thousands of years, those fragments became permanently woven into the human genome. Think about it this way. Every time you breathe, fight off a flu, or even grow a hair on your body, 
you might be using instructions coded by Neanderthal DNA. It's a reminder that we're not just the product of our own species journey. We're hybrids, carrying within us the echoes of an ancient people who never truly disappeared. Neanderthal DNA isn't just a fossil hidden in our genomes. It actively shapes who we are. Some of the genes we inherited control skin, hair, and eye color, helping early humans adapt to colder, darker climates. Others strengthened our immune system, giving us resistance to local infections. But not all gifts were positive. Certain Neanderthal genes increased the risk of conditions like diabetes, allergies, and even depression. In other words, if you have pale skin that burns in the sun, or if you're unusually resistant to the flu, you might want to thank your Neanderthal ancestors. Just when scientists thought they had mapped all the Neanderthal DNA inside us, the latest research revealed something astonishing. Some of the genetic fragments discovered don't match any of the known Neanderthal genomes we've already sequenced. This means that the Neanderthals we've studied so far, from caves in Siberia and Europe, may only represent part of the story. Hidden within our own DNA could be traces of entirely different Neanderthal groups, populations we've never uncovered in the fossil record. It suggests there are still ghost lineages waiting to be identified, entire branches of humanity that left no bones behind, only genetic footprints still living inside us today. This discovery forces us to rethink what it means to be human. We like to imagine ourselves as purely homo sapiens, but the truth is far more complex. We are hybrids, carrying the legacy of Neanderthals in every cell of our bodies. In fact, our very survival may have depended on their genes. The immune system boosts we inherited likely protected our ancestors from deadly Eurasian diseases. Other Neanderthal traits helped us adapt to colder climates, ensuring we could spread across the globe. But this also raises unsettling questions. If scientists are still finding hidden Neanderthal DNA today, what else is waiting inside us? Could there be genetic echoes of other, undiscovered human species? The answers may completely rewrite our evolutionary story. Every one of us carries echoes of an ancient species. The story of humanity isn't one of pure lines, but of mixing, survival, and shared ancestry. With each new discovery, scientists are proving that Neanderthals never truly died. They live on in us, shaping our health, our appearance, and even our thoughts. But this revelation opens an even bigger mystery. If Neanderthals are hidden within our DNA, what other ancient species might be waiting to be discovered inside us? The answers are just beginning to unfold. Subscribe now and join me as we uncover the secrets written in our genes.